hello and welcome once again today we are going to do uh, let's start from the one up the author is fox Locks, who has already uh, developed a lot of boxes on one hub and pg practice and unlike my other um, normal walkthroughs of different one hub or hack my vm boxes today we are going to focus on the classical buffer overflow base attack this is going to be the simplest uh, the vanilla based buffer overflow and it's going to be for a windows based application so this is the thing which you can see in different popular exams out there for example oscp or maybe ecppt and so let's just not waste our time and the main aim of this video is going to be uh, to teach you the practical of doing the exploit development for a buffer overflow um, and I'm not going to do going to cover the theory aspect what buffer overflow is how it works etc etc I'll be focusing on the practical part and this is how I have done my buffer overflows vanilla based buffer overflows and I basically do first I crash the program I find the offset value then I try to control the EIP register I find the bad characters and finally I use uh, the shell code which gives me the reverse shell or bind shell anyways let's just not waste our time i'll be cloning this repo oops get clone this repo to my uh, kali box and my kali version is 2021.3 and the net start box is already running and if you do nmap rv dash p dash csv 192.168.10.110 so you are going to see two ports 21 and 2371 21 is by default for FTP and 2371 is some weird port and if you run this uh, if you open this FTP via anonymous thing anonymous login you can see that there are two files login.exe and login support.dll present and on 237 uh, this uh, application is running in inside a uh, wine app wine application so I have already copied these two files and this is it I'll start my uh, application and this is staying starting vulnerable software buffalo flow created by fox logs etc etc and uh, my windows box IP is 103 so on 103 237 port uh, this application is running so without wasting any further time uh, let's go inside the exploiting stack based overflows and first we have to crash this program so i'll run before we run we need to change the ip which in this case is going to be 103 and the port is going to be 2371 but again it depends on up on, on what port the application is running but in my case this is running on 2371 so this is perfectly fine and now i'll run with python so my this program or script is going to give different uh, inputs of different lengths 300 350 and it's going to be gradually increased and waits until this program crashes so the program has finally crashed it has crashed between 1600 and 1850 so saying that it crashed around 1850 bytes so let's just create a pattern msf pattern create length of 1900 so this pattern is created and now let's just go inside the offset and create this offset is equals to this right i'll delete this thing and change the ip to be 103 nice and the next step is going to be the immunity debugger part i have downloaded this immunity debugger 185 from the internet and downloaded this mona file and once you have downloaded this uh, mona file you have to go in inside the pi commands and paste this mona file inside this path uh, for different uh, environments for like uh, different exams they are going to provide you this environment so you don't need to configure it but for example if you are doing a practice in your local environment you need to recreate the steps so mona is down immunity debugger is downloaded and installed and mona is in uh, mona file is copied to this immunity debugger path right 
now i will start the amenity debugger in administrator mode and in the meantime i'll start the login application our vulnerable application as an administrator i'll go inside the attach and i'm going to find this uh, path of my file which is login.exe and right now it's saying pause so make sure you hit play button and now it's going to say running perfect so finding the offset and now if i run this finding the offset it says there is an access violation and the program has like stopped uh, the ip eip is filled eip register is filled with this value so copy selection to clipboard go back here and now msf pattern offset length was 1900 and this is the eip value right so it's saying the exact match is at offset 1702 perfect so we need to remember this value and oops now we'll go inside the eip and the eip is going to be 103 and if it's done correctly, you are going to see B, uh, your EIP filled with four Bs, but let's just try something different. For example, let's just do a DCBA. Uh, since this is a little Indian format, if everything goes correctly, we should see our EIB filled with A, B, C, D, or 41, 42, 43, 44. Right. So I'll save it and I'll go to restart and hit play button twice and now it's running again fine so i will now eip is finally the program is again crashed and eip is filled with 41 42 43 44 so we can control this eip perfect and our next task would be for finding the bad characters let's just remove the bad characters net start so we can do it from the scratch so normally zero zero is the bad characters and we have to find the bad characters and i'm going to show you how you can find the bad characters so uh, the program has crashed and we need to go into the esp uh, register and follow in dump um follow in dump zero zero we have to give this pattern um let me just restart yes play play and now um we need to start from the scratch the program has crashed and since we have given b four b so it's filled with uh, 42 42 42 42 but just ignore it click on this esp register and click follow in dump <coughs> and let's start so we have to see all the values from 0 1 till ff and if we see anything out of order, that is going to be the bad character. So the first bad character is going to be 00, zero which is going to be x00. Zero zero. The next is going to be f1, 2, everything is in order, 28, 29, to see 2d, 2d, 2d is not present over here. So let's just restart it play play we'll have to remove 2d 2d is here and now if we do the program has again crashed follow esp and dump to see do t 2e since we are again seeing the bad characters maybe 2e is again the bad character also so 2e restart play play to e program is again crashed follow esp and dump and this is the repetitive task so two five two eight two nine a b c d e f Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, four, six. Next is going to be four, six. Four, six, 
four six right I'll restart four six um I'll remove where is four six here it is four six follow ESP and dump four five four six four seven is the bad character uh, these bad characters uh, can change the offset can change so remember you have to practice with different vulnerable applications but the methodology or the steps will remain same so four seven is the next bad character play play now I'll remove four seven follow VSP in dump four seven four six four seven four eight four nine a b c d e f one two three four five six seven eight nine five nine five nine restart play play um five nine x five nine five nine oops uh is it running it's running five nine program crashed follow yes we and dumb five c five d five d five one two three four five six seven eight five nine five eight five nine a b c d e five e x five e five e right Play, play. We have to remove five E. Here is five E. Program has again crashed. Following dump five A B C D E F five F. What comes after five F? Uh, six zero. Right. Six zero. X six zero. X six zero is going to the next and restart um six zero and now i'll remove six oops here is six zero six zero follow esp and dump one six zero where was one I guess six three FF. Um I think now the output is correct. I don't see any further bad characters. Now you can see that this is the way you get uh, you basically find out the bad characters. So these are the bad characters. In my case, how many bad characters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bad characters, right now we have to find the jump address um is mona present mona is present and i'm going to look at my cheat sheet which is going to be mona find jump address and the dll file name so mona find dash s um x ff E4 minus M login underscore support DLL. And we have found out that there are two jump addresses, and all of them have ASLR, SEH, everything is disabled. So we can try any of these two addresses, which can be um, first can be 0x6250 12b8, and the second one, oops. C five, C five. Right. Now we have to, I guess, uh, use the MSF Venom command to generate our reverse shell payload. So let's just close this, minimize this, and we have to use MSF Venom 
which is in again my this thing let's just copy it so msf venom payload is going to be windows shell reverse tcp since the application is running on windows uh, the l host is going to be our kali box ip which in this is 106 and the port is going to be let's just do it 822 we have 822 um or maybe like uh 2022 since this is 2022 and what was the ip uh 106 the port is going to be 2022 the bad characters are 0 2d 2e 46 47 59 5e 60 so this is going to generate the shell code for us and we need to paste this shell code in our fifth file which is the shell file so i'll copy this thing and if we go inside the gen shell file um our overflow is going to be this oops and i need to paste the code here it is and above this I can delete oops I don't need to delete this thing and 192.168.10.103 is the IP of this box so uh, we knew the offset is uh, 1702 so it's going to fill the offset with 1702 and then it's going to go to the eip which is going to be filled with the jump address and we have noted down the jump addresses which are 625012b8 or c5 and then there is some padding and finally our overflow code so if everything goes well i should catch a reversal over here so I guess um, uh, if I try generate shell, oops, I haven't opened this application. I need to start this application. And now I can see that this is highlighting and I have a windows shell great so this is how you do it 103 so on my kali linux box i have got a reverse shell you can try changing the jump address i mean i guess both addresses should work which is um instead of b8 we can try c5 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 12 right and the application is running let me just restart it everything goes well and again i have caught the shell so this is um, a very fast way of uh, developing the buffer overflow for your exams uh, again um fuzzing the program finding the offset value overwriting eip finding bad characters the jump address and generating the shell command and again there are different types of shell uh, normally i use uh, reverse shell but you can also use bind shell with metropolitan or without metropolitan and that's it i think this is the i basically i wanted to create a video that is as simple as it can be for uh, exploiting or developing the exploit for this vanilla based overflow i hope you would like this video and it helps you in different exams and different challenges um, do remember to subscribe my channel and like this video thank you see you next time bye bye